Michael, many congratulations. You've come for an absolute barnstormer over on stage two. First of all, how are the emotions and just sum up what that was like? Uh, I don't think I can sum it up. Uh, I'm just over the moon that I won. Uh, it's not even like... A, a one four five is not given a chance, but the 72, I missed it too. And it was just... Every leg, we just went at each other. And it, it was kind of on each other's floor. That on my floor, I was doing like 11s and 12s, and Izzy was doing the same. And last leg of four, I'm not going to... There's no more legs, you've got to do something now. And luckily enough, I, that, I knew he missed the ball, I just don't know which one. And he let me in for the 41, so just over the moon. We saw at the end what it meant to you leaning over the table. Was that months of frustration all coming out? Uh, well, yeah, I think it was the, what was it called, the Power Series last week? Yeah. I lost three of them or whatever, it was 6-5 and I was on like 24 after 12 and didn't get a goal. I was on something stupid, like 103, lost to an 85. I was like, how is this happening? And same again, I just thought it was going to happen again, but no, it was just, that's why like, oh, it was just, Relief more than anything. What's it been like the last few months for you? Obviously, two TV tournaments, the Worlds and the Masters, didn't go according to plan. Was it? Has it been tough? Um, the Worlds was tough. Masters was kind of me get, getting back into getting back into which I've done every year. The Worlds was tough, but you know, I, I didn't get paid for the Premier League, so now I can try to do my work backstage and like go back to what I used to do years ago. Where I was garbage on TV and I used to win pro tours, make the finals all the time, Europeans. And I get my ranking straight up and that, that's what I can do again this year. And I can just solely concentrate on my family and do my work. Where in the Premier League, I've got five months of never being at home. I never concentrate on family life. So, no, it's gutted not being, but blessing. But also, it's a blessing now I can concentrate on my game even more. Was, was it a relief that that final money's come off your ranking as well? Because I know a lot lots made of it where now you've almost got a clean slate because the rankings are dominated by the world's money. So is that kind of a clean bill of health for you now? Um, it would have been nice to stay on because I still would have been top four and I'd be in the Prem. But I'm, at, I'm really good there, I'm not in it. But uh, yeah, now like you, you see some people now as defending that never did and there's flying up the rankings now you see them dropping back below you and it's I lost 185 grand clean off my ranking, and I only dropped what four, pla five, pla four places, five places, whatever it was. And now I'm not defending until match play, and then I've got nothing else to defend again. So first round losses. So no, I, I know I'm not going to drop out. Well, I probably jinx myself now, but I know I'm not going to drop out of top ten. I know I'll finish back in the top four by the end of the year. So, Michael, pleasure as always, lad. Thanks very much for your time. Cheers, lad. Michael, 5-1 uh, down there. What's going through your mind at that point? Just get a few more legs so I don't get embarrassed. But then, <clears throat> going to 5-1, I was like, I'll win this now. And then, missed that 82 to go 7-5 up. And it was just like, I've just got to just gotta keep in keep in touch and keep going, keep fighting. And then, luckily enough, I got to 9 on. It was like, now's your chance. You've got to hit him big. And he kicked off in 93 or four. A couple of travels now, put the pressure on. But then he went 180 and I followed him back. And I think it can, that, the 180 falling back got to him then, because if I had to follow that, he would have filled it up again. Like you've seen about two legs previous to that. So, uh, lucky enough, got through. Is this the result and the performance you needed to really give you that confidence boost tonight? Um, no, because I've, I've won games playing better than that, and I've lost games playing worse than that. So, my confidence is always, always the highest it can be. I always want, I'll always think that I'm number one, so... I never ever have low confidence, even when I'm playing really, really bad and I can never win a game for months and months. I still turn up to tournaments believing that I am the best player. So tonight, I didn't prove I was the best player, but I proved I just took out probably, in my eyes, the second favourite at tournament, which Johnny Clayton should be the first favourite, but he's not. But I just took out the second favourite and now I'm, I'm straight up there now. How hungry are you for success again this season? <laughs> I'm hungry for success all the time, but I think what's doing made in now, I need, I need that title more than anything. I, I can't keep holding my loads on just having Shanghai. I need the I need the big one to go on my rankings now, and I keep fighting until I get. I'll never. You can ask me the same quest, question in ten years if you haven't got one, but I still keep going and just keep fighting. But hey, I'll come if it's this year. I'll be trying my hardest. Thanks, Michael. Well played tonight. Cheers, brother. 
Uh, Michael, when you're involved in a game like that, are you able to enjoy it or is it all wrapped up in the pressure of the situation? Nah, I hear them type of games because like, I like watching Joe. <laughs> like, I'm not in the tournament, I only watch darts for like, watching like Anderson or Chiz, Joe, Ian White. So it's not nice playing him, but it's not nice losing to me because <clears throat> at the end of the day, he's taking my wages off me, he's taking the money I need to pay bills and you have to win. So I enjoy winning him, but I just don't enjoy playing one of my best mates on tour. And I don't know how good today will be now. And that that's where it's not enjoyable for me. Yeah. You, you talked previously about the Premier League and obviously not being included this year. Is that a real a real kick that you needed going into 2021? Yeah, I don't know. I, I was probably, yeah, because I, I just relied on my levels that I'll be in the Premier League. Because like, even now with the 10 that's picked, five of them not, but not as good as me. But yeah, they're in, so it was one of them I, I should be in, but I'm not. And then, even then, the likes of Wadey, Merv King, they're, they're players that should be looked for the tournament. But yeah, we're not in, now we can concentrate and just get on with everything. Do you think, as you say that, do you think it takes away that you can now concentrate on the, the rank majors, like the UK Open, obviously the world match players as a place that you'll want to, you want to be succeeding again this year? Yeah, for me now, I can concentrate more on my family life as well. For four or five, whatever years it is, I've not had the first half of the year proper with the kids. And having the good family life and the good mentality, that's even better for me going into tournaments. Because I'm, I'm not stressed going home, I've only got a day so I'm going to wash my clothes quick, get out. Now I get to enjoy life and enjoy my game again, and enjoy playing and enjoy travelling to tournaments. Not knocking the Premier League because I'm gutted I'm not in it. I'm just chuffed that I'm... I get more time at home as well now.